exactly 30 seconds, so if you want to grab a seat, please feel free to do so now. And if you want to remain at the bar or in the hangout lounge, of course, that's also fine, but please uh, reduce conversations to the absolute minimum so that everybody who wants to listen to this can do so. Oh, that is working already very well. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, thanks for joining. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having us. Do you have the clicker? <laughs> I do. Okay. Then let's get it started. So, good morning, everyone. While the last people are flowing in, uh, we want to warmly welcome to the first uh, iteration of Protocol Berg. Uh, we use the next 10 minutes to very briefly run you through the day, how to um, navigate the venue, uh, how to set you up with Wi-Fi, how you find about, out about the agenda, and um, we will also brief, briefly touch down on the concept of the, today's event. Yes, exactly. So, first of all, welcome to Protocolwerk! Yay! <laughs> and the first thing that I want to briefly discuss is, uh, because it's our first time hosting this event, um, yeah, go through a couple of points why we think Protocolwerk is special and why we did the event in the way that we did. Uh, also more on this in the closing ceremony, because as Afri mentioned, the opening ceremony will mostly be about logistics, but briefly and in a nutshell, what's special about protocol work in our opinion? Um, yeah, first of all, it's a one day gathering from uh, people from various ecosystems in the decentralized protocol and infrastructure space. So that means we don't only have people from Ethereum here, so what we usually do, but also Polkadot, Cosmos, IPFS, uh, various layer tools and uh, data availability chains, and I don't know, you, you name it. So the idea is really here to unite exchange on common problems, questions, learn from each other, and all of that rather than uh, maximalism, schmaximalism, or dividing and fighting. So um, I'm not even sure if I need to say this, but please be nice to each other. <laughs> I think we can all do that, um, especially because most of the talks here, or probably almost all, will focus around uh, technological aspects and some governance aspects. So I really think um, we can learn one or two things from each other and this is what this day is about. That leads me to my next point. Um, everybody who has applied for a talk or who is speaking here today will have heard this sentence many times before, but I'm going to reiterate it one more time. Uh, marketing focus talks, product presentations, token shilling, you name it, that is not in scope for protocol work. So please, uh, if you still have such a slide in your presentation, delete it right now. Uh, but I haven't seen anybody. So um, we are really here to uh, yeah, as objectively discuss things as possible. And of course, that can include uh, technological uh, aspects of a certain product. But yeah, we're really not here to do business development or marketing. So please refrain from that, uh, unless it's specifically requested by your um, partner who's talking to you right now. Yeah, uh, also you may have noticed already, we do not feature any sponsors. There will be no sponsor booths here, there will be no sponsored talks, no pay to play, um, no swag bags with a lot of stuff in there, no, uh, I don't know, signs everywhere and, and roll-ups full of logos. Uh, we hope you enjoy it and there will be also a little bit more on the philosophy why we do that later on in the closing ceremony. You have also noticed that attendance is free of charge. This is normal for a Department of Decentralization event, but unfortunately not so normal in our space. Uh, we really try to make this event accessible for all, and um, for us it's important uh, to yeah, give education and this exchange to you, and hopefully a nice conference experience for free. Um, 
almost last but not least, uh, we try to do what we call audience-centered content curation. So uh, all the talks you will see here, they are here because we as the core team thought that they are informational, relevant, pose interesting questions or have interesting concepts or answers. So we really try to put the audience into the middle of everything we do and focus on the question, um, what would we want to see if we were sitting in the audience all day? So I hope you will enjoy that. And then, of course, uh, Protocol Work is organized by uh, a wonderful core team of volunteers. Nobody of us gets paid to do this, and I think this makes us pretty unique and special because we do this because we really like it, we burn for it, it's our passion, and I think this also contributes to the unique spirit that we have here. Uh, yeah, I see a full row of, for example, core team and volunteers here. If you bump into them, please be nice to them because they do this in their free time and for fun. <laughs> Fun. Uh, okay, now to the serious part of this con uh, uh, presentation. Uh, first things first, the Wi-Fi you will find all across the venue. We have the QR codes, you can scan them and get connected. It's a protocol back network and um, the password is also on the back of your name badge if you have one, that is. <clears throat> the agenda is um, available on our website, protocol.berlin. If you use a mobile device and you don't like how it renders on our nice LaTeX style website, then you can also use the pre-talks uh, front end at sket.protocol.berlin, which might be rendering a bit better on a mobile device. If you are uh, an expert, you can also find out how to get uh, an app called, what's it called, Giggly on uh, F-Droid and figure out how to put in our <laughs> pre-talks API, but I leave this up to you. And last but not least, we try to live stream all stages on watch.protocol.berlin, so if you have friends that cannot attend in person, um, share this link with them, um, but this website also features an agenda, you will figure it out. Yes, coming to another important logistical aspect, uh, we are here in a new venue, so most of us have probably never been here before, at least it's our first DoD event in that venue, so um, to get accustomed to where what is, we will briefly walk you through the floor plans. Um, we are here on the ground floor, so I hope uh, all our American friends also understand this as uh, yeah, floor zero, um, and of course, Here's the main stage, we are currently standing on it. Uh, the main stage also has a bar area here in the back. Um, in this bar, please uh, respect the speakers, be quiet, order something, but do not chat around. We will come to places where you can chat in a bit. Uh, we also have a food court, which is outside. So if you take this exit to the right, you will end up in the backyard, and there will be two food trucks set up there um, where you can have lunch, but the lunch will be served basically all day from 11.30 p.m. onwards, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, yeah, we selected two Berlin classics for you and we hope you will enjoy them. I'm not gonna say more <laughs> about that. And then of course you came through the registration which is on the other side. Uh, once you have a wristband, you can basically use both entrances um, at your discretion. And what else? Uh, swag station and uh, swag station and batch station are also inside close to the registration. There are staircases on both ends, so you don't always have to cross this room if you want to go upstairs. Uh, if you want to go upstairs, there on the first floor we have a hangout and bar area. This is where you can actually are allowed to have conversations because there are no talks up there. Still be mindful, there is a workshop room zero next door, so um, don't party too hard up there. Um, but please, as Francis already said, don't you can use the lounge down here, the bar down here, but please try not to have conversations or don't talk to your colleagues here or your friends, you know. Please go up to the first floor doing this. Click. Click. 
And then we have the second floor where our side stage is located. You can literally not miss it if you take that staircase. If you come from that staircase, you have a nice industrial charm <laughs> situation because there's a little bit of a big uh, hallway and you will see a lot of the history of this building, which yeah, we actually really appreciate. Uh, there's also workshop number one next to the side stage and there are signs everywhere guiding you. Oh, and maybe also one more info for drinks. Fridges should be distributed all over the place. Feel free to just open a fridge and grab a, a drink. We have water, soft drinks. There's also mate for the mate lovers. It's not club mate because everything uh, here is sustainable. So it's an organic um, mate uh, that should be as good as club mate, I hope. Great. Uh, most importantly, uh, get your protocol bags swag bag at the swag station. Um, surprisingly, it does not contain any trash, so you really want to have this. Um, the swag station is right uh, behind the re registration in the main entrance. Um, interestingly, we uh, decided to um, print a program booklet, so this will be able to lead you through the entire day, so you can, can use it to like read up on the speaker's information, abstract of the talks, you can even scribble in it and take your notes. Um, and on top of that, there will be a notebook and infinity pencil, which is super fun. Uh, and yeah, a lot of stickers. Uh, I really hope you enjoy this. The stickers, yeah, great. Um, so, if you get lost, you can connect to other attendees on our matrix, which is protocolberg uh, at matrix.org. If you need help, you can find the team and uh, volunteers. They are identified through these red wristbands or red shirts. And yeah, be kind. <laughs> Yeah, and that leaves us nothing more to say than please join us also for the closing ceremony and the post-conference mixer at 7.30 p.m. Uh, again here, where we invite you to grab a closing drink, uh, either a nice aperitif, a beer, or uh, alcohol-free alternative of your choice um, at the bar here with us and contemplate about the day. And um, we will learn more about the motivation behind Protocol Berg. Why do we go through the hardships of doing a donation-backed, sponsorless, non-profit event that is free to attend? Oh my goodness, uh, we will also share financial insights uh, and transparency over our expenditures um, and more. So for now, please enjoy the day and see you here again at 7.30, but hopefully also before. <laughs> Thanks for being here. You know, here. just stay here hours in between. <laughs>